hit that subscribe button and the bell icon beside it to check out our latest videos before anyone else. Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the tech news of the day. HMD Global has uploaded Nokia camera app on the Play Store. Now don't get too excited, it's only for the Nokia phones. So far, Nokia 5 and Nokia 3 users have been complaining about camera performance. So as of now, it's better to use the stock camera app instead of downloading it. Next news is from Vivo. Vivo is working on two new smartphones called Vivo X20 and X20 Plus. Now it has been confirmed that X20 will be called X Play 7 and we have some more exciting news. It will have three camera sensors on the back. It might have a normal camera, a secondary monochrome sensor for portrait mode and a wide angle camera. That will be an awesome combination. On the front it will have two cameras, probably a normal camera and a wide angle camera. It also has a fingerprint scanner under the display and an edge to edge screen with minimal bezels just like the S8. So far, pricing and other specs are not leaked yet. This phone might be launched in November. Next we have news from LG. LG has released an image that outlines some features of LG V30. Now based on the image, LG V30 have dual edges and curved corners just like the S8. It will have a P-OLED display panel which means the base of the OLED panel is plastic instead of glass. This technology gives LG the ability to curve the edges of the display just like Samsung does. This display will have Quad HD Plus resolution with HDR10 support. It will have Snapdragon 835 processor with 4GB RAM and 64GB internal storage. So far we don't have any specs on the camera but based on the rumor, primary camera might have f1.6 aperture which is like a huge thing. My favorite thing about the LG V series phones is the secondary display. But now in V30 that has been replaced by a floating bar. So far we don't know anything about this feature. We have to wait some more time to see what it is. Next news is from Oppo. Oppo has launched Oppo R11 and R11 Plus with Snapdragon 660 processor. But now a new variant of Oppo R11 with Snapdragon 835 processor has been seen on Geekbench website. They might launch this phone as Oppo Find 9. Next we have news from Samsung. Samsung has launched two new flip phones in China. One is called Samsung Galaxy Folder 2 and the other one is called Leadership 8. This phone has an aviation grade aluminum frame with two 4.2 inch Full HD Super AMOLED displays on outside and inside. It's powered by a Snapdragon 821 processor, 4GB RAM, 64GB internal storage with the option to insert SD card. It has a 12 megapixel primary camera with f1.7 aperture and a 5 megapixel front facing camera with f1.9 aperture. It has a 2300 mAh battery with fast charging and wireless charging support and it also has Samsung Pay. Samsung Galaxy Folder 2 has already been unveiled in South Korea for a price tag of 17,000 rupees. It has a 3.8 inch TFT display with 800 by 480 pixel resolution, Snapdragon 425 processor, 2GB RAM, 16GB internal storage, 8 megapixel camera on the rear and a 5 megapixel camera on the front, both with f1.9 aperture and a 2000 mAh battery. Next news is also from Samsung. Samsung has announced a new 88 inch QLED TV called the Q9 in North America and Korea. It's an ultra premium TV that's going to be released in Europe later this month. Samsung claims it has some superior picture quality and some innovative features. I really wish if I could put this TV in my living room. Next we have news from Google. Google has updated the developer version of Google Chrome for Android with a built in ad blocker. As of now it's pretty basic, there is no customization, we just have the option to enable it or disable it. Next news is from Samsung once again. Samsung has officially launched the Game Live streaming app for Android, but it's only compatible with selected Galaxy devices. Using this app, users can stream their games on YouTube, Facebook or Twitch by simply logging into the app. Next we have news from IBM. IBM research scientists have created a new record by storing 330 terabytes of data into a single tape cartridge that fits in the palm of your hand. Tapes have been used for video archives, backup files, but with this technology, it can be used for cold storage in the cloud. Based on an analysis, by 2020, each person might have 5000 GB of data to store. Next news is from Honor. Honor Note 9 is rumored to launch soon and these are the specs. It will have a 4600 mAh battery with Kirin 965 CPU, 6 GB of RAM and 64 GB of internal storage with a dual camera setup with 12 megapixel sensors and an S8 style infinity display on the front. It might be released in September. 
Next news is from Lenovo. Lenovo has opened six Moto Hub brand exclusive retail stores in Delhi and Mumbai. Lenovo plans to open 50 more by the end of this year. Next we have news from Zoom Car. Zoom Car has launched a new one-way intercity service called Hop. Now customers can pick up a Zoom Car in one city and drop it in other city. Next we have a news for all the selfie lovers. Some scientists have developed a new smartphone app to take perfect selfies. This app has an algorithm that detects where to position the camera to get the best selfies. After testing, they found an improvement of 26% in selfies. Next we have some news about Game of Thrones. HBO servers have been hacked once again. This time, a total of 1.5TB of data has been leaked. It includes employee information along with several unaired episodes of Game of Thrones. Yes, I wish I can see them too. Next we have news from IRCTC. IRCTC has launched cash on delivery option for Tatkal ticket booking. Every day IRCTC processes 1,30,000 Tatkal transactions and many of the transactions fail at payment gateway. To address this problem, cash and delivery feature has been added. Now users can make the booking in just few seconds. Final news of the day is about the Geo phone. This phone has been announced last month and it has been said that it will be made in India from quarter 4 of 2017. That's the end of 2017. So till then, the phones that they sell will be made in China. So my question is, do you care where it is made as long as you are getting a better deal? Do let me know. So guys, that brings us to the end of the tech news. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to see more cool videos on tech. I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech signing off. Have a nice day.